Hi, welcome to our channel. My name's Jolie and um, welcome. I'm grateful that you're here with me tonight, today, tonight, whatever time it is for you. And um, this is the reading that we're gonna do, a little time for myself. And um, just get started. What's the date that we're reading is July 8th. And without further ado, we'll get started. Okay, here we go. Um, it's on page 190 if you're following along, if you have the book. And that's okay if you don't. I started this channel so that I can I can read, you know, get me to sit down every day to read. And so it's been working for me. <laughs> and so I figured, well, while I'm doing this, I will learn how to post these on YouTube. And there you are. That's how, that's the only reason why this channel exists is because I wanted to see if I could figure that out. And um, I mean, I have it as basic as you can, because I don't obviously have a microphone yet, which I'd like to get if you have any suggestions. And um, just so it's, it's more pleasant to listen to. Um, and um, that's it. All right, let's get going. Here it goes. Reading. In a recent meeting, a fellow member compared Alcatraz, a prison on an island, with alcoholism, a prison of my own making. Okay. So the analogy resonated with me immediately. So again, in a recent meeting, a fellow member compared Alcatraz, a prison on an island with alcoholism, a prison of my own making. The analogy resonated with me immediately. It's like, we're all on an island of our crazy selves. All right, so after I worked step seven, this is what step seven is, humbly asked God to remove our shortcomings. So after I worked step seven, seven which is humbly ask God to remove my shortcomings. With a sponsor, after I worked step seven with the sponsor, I came to realize my own character defects often act as prison bars, self-righteous trap, righteousness, self-righteousness traps me in my own isolated perspective, people-pleasing, keeps the real me hidden away. Not speaking up for myself binds me in chains of resentment. This is good to read today. So I believe my higher power, whom I choose to call God, choose your own, can use my self-imposed time in prison to help me change my ways. But God doesn't want me to stay there. God wants me to live in freedom and applauds when I take steps forward. So today's reminder. I have done time in the family disease of alcoholism. But I do not have to serve a life sentence without parole. I don't have to serve a life sentence. I rehabilitate myself each time I make use of this Al-Anon program. It's good to hear. It's hard on myself thinking, what's going on? It's what, you know, because just because I get rid of a resentment doesn't mean new ones don't show up, which is kind of a drag, but that's life. That's living life. And, you know, it just, I feel like I'm zigging and zagging. And then I'm like, ah, I got caught. I got hit with one, you know, like something happened at work the other day. And, you know, I'm trying to get like, like something paid. Uh, Cause I took, 
a work trip to go to another location. And it's been, so it's been like a month and a half and I still haven't gotten the money. So finally, because there's all these other dramas and whatever, you know, I was people pleasing like, oh, it's, it'll happen. They'll call me. Well, they weren't. So I'm like, Hey, I want to get this done. And then there's like this other hurdle to go over. And then, so I have a resentment now because the hurdle was not really taken. We like got halfway there in order for me to get the paid amount. Cause like, there's a different way to do it than my person that was helping me do it. And what happened is that they go, oh, well, this is it here. Let me just pay you out of petty cash. And I'm like, okay. She's like, how much was it? I'm like, I don't know. It was like, this part was $47. But then I added it up in my head. Like, I can't get it out of my head. I'm like, it's 62 cents a mile. That's $74. So it's 74 plus the 47. So now like, do I say something? Do I bother this person? Will I look like, like a bugger if I say something, but then I'm like, I kind of want the money. I kind of like where, what, plus I'm probably going to have the tolls that cost me because it took so long for me to get paid. Like, I know it's my own fault. Absolutely. But like, there's probably going to be like a late fee. And so I'm like, So I'm learning the hard lesson. You know, I, I may just suck it up, but I don't know if I can, I don't know if I cannot say something. I think I'm going to, I'm probably going to say something. I'm not sure. Cause it's like, I'll probably just talk about it like this. I'm like, I don't want to be a bugger. I don't want to be like a bummer, but could I have like that extra, could I have that other money too? Like, how do I get that money? So, yeah. Do you ever go through that? Like, I think, oh, I got this, you know, I got this Al Anon thing. I'm all right. I, I can, you know, put my boundaries up. I can do the thing. I'm not people please. And then like stuff like this happens and I'm like, shit. Like, I, you know, you get sick of asking and then you feel like the, the one that's the bugger. And then I'm like, maybe there's something Maybe there's something with the buggers. Maybe they get what they need. And, you know, maybe I judge the buggers because I don't want to be one or I don't want a bugger on me. But that's not my job. I'm not, I'm not a bugger getter. Like I don't, like I don't have a, I'm not in management. Like I'll get the people who need their bras fit. I need thing run over here go over there so yeah they do bug me a lot so yeah I deserve the money and maybe I'll ask for it I'll let you know how it goes anyhow let's say the serenity prayer what would you do I just want to know like what do you have a story that you can relate with HR all right so grr, 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 grr. Today's reminder, I've done time in the family disease of alcoholism, but I don't have to serve a life sentence without parole. I rehabilitate myself each time I make use of the Al-Anon program. And there's a quote from Survival to Recovery, the book, and it says, Al-Anon has given me a new life because of the work I'm doing. Alanon just doesn't hand it to you. You have to do the work and the freedom to live it richly in the present, being present. Okay, so how does uh, relief from my shortcomings free me to live more fully today? How does relief from my shortcomings free me to live more fully today? Well, give me more, give me that money that I, I need because I earned it right not there to like not get what i'm supposed to get um and it's you know i take responsibility for saying okay 
I take responsibility for dragging my feet. I take responsibility for the fact that maybe I drag my feet so long that I won't get that money. But I also know that this, I'll try. How's that? Okay. All right. So the, the serenity prayer, here we go. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have courage, change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. All right. All right. All right. I love you. And I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. I may actually um, read, uh, do another excerpt of another book. So take a peek at that. I love you. Doing lots of laundry from that flood I had. And I dropped off my youngest to the pre-college camp. And he said he's doing good. So that's something. I feel like I'm going to be really productive because we normally like hang out all day when I'm, when I'm off. So that's something exciting for me. All right. I am working on moonbeam over here. Little flower, flower moon. <laughs>